Okay, let's look at the Blood Alchemy and then we'll go back to the tech. Because with the Blood Alchemy, I've collected enough blood that we can do the Magician's Orb now. Um, I do need to grab the Fluid Ducks and the Servos and the Block of Gold. It needed um, 25,000 LP in this altar only holds 10,000 so what I did is I've this is all blood that I've been um, draining from it um, where's my crescent hammer I need to take that off what I'm gonna do first is um, poke myself probably and grab instant health. Let's see if we can get this full. Almost. Close enough. So then I'm going to put that there. <laughs> Sens, did you use my Sens? Hi, Dem. I do see that. I will get you, I, unless it does it automatically, I will add you on Steam when I'm done streaming. I don't know if it adds you automatically or not. Okay, so if we set these to ignore redstone... It should, it should fill these all up, yep, and then when we do this, I'm going to hope that it can keep up. It's going to go awfully fast, um, but we'll see how well it does. Oh, it's, it's not going to do very well, is it? Look at that. The LP is just going to go poof. And it's only at 33, 38%, 39, yikes. Okay, well. <laughs> that is another reason why I can just stand here to help boost it along. Because it loses LP value, I think, while it sits here. Yeah, see? It's going backward. Dang it! Hmm. Uh, it's gone all the way backward. What a waste. Um... Uh, it's just not flowing very fast. Um, I wonder if we switch it over to, because these are slow. These are slow. It's just the way they are. See, look how slow that's flowing in there. And I can't get it any faster than that. So, I'm going to have to see maybe if the extra utilities fluid one can go faster. So we've got the liquid transfer node, and we can even craft a speed upgrade. Yes, Dem, there are runes to increase the flow, but I need I need the orb for this tier in order to make those. <laughs> yep. 
Um, so yeah, I had two options here. Um, we talked about these last stream. One was to build a ghetto mob farm above it and collect a whole bunch of mobs and then kill them off as it creates. That is the fast and easy method. Don't get me wrong there. I didn't want to do that. Um, <laughs> so I collected a whole bunch of life essence here in tanks and figured I'd find a way to pump it in. I do not know if it will go in fast enough. And I can't like collect it from here. So let's see about making the fluid uh, liquid transfer node. Oh, I'm so afraid of looking at this one. Not bad. And we'll probably just do this one again to get four. Um, let's go harvest the ender pearls we have. And increasing the capacity of the altar. I do not know what um, master. Nope, it requires the master blood orb, but which is the one we're trying to make. We have the apprentice. <laughs> so I can't do that yet either. So I can't make the crafting go- or sorry, I can't make the displacement go any faster and I can't make the altar any larger at this moment. Um, I could make standard blood runes and remove the one i think i only have one speed rune that is speeding up the crafting no i really don't want to calculator is not in here It's okay, Dem. You can suggest things. You you could potentially have ideas that I don't know. I am a okay with that. Did I trample that? No. Okay, good. I probably don't have any fuel in any of these because I was... Yeah, I was making the metamorphic stone and is barely putting anything in them to begin with. So let's get some fuel. All right. We'll try it again with the fluid pipes. Wrong one. Where did I put them? There they are. We'll grab two lapis and make the fluid um, transfer node. I've got a bucket that one of these, one of those, I think that's it. Fluid. It's liquid, isn't it? Oh, Tuthomium. All right. Let's do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Another basic. Wow. 
Infested grass. I doubt any of the hardcore Ender expansion stuff can be scanned. Guess so. I can't get anything. Why am I missing that? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this goes any faster. Um, I need to take the servos off. Mm -hmm. And make it go the other way for a bit. Because... There is fluid in these pipes that I would really, really like to reclaim. now to see if this goes any faster. That... Okay, so these are... Why does that still just say alters current essence as the um. Well, so this is full. It just has nowhere to go. I wonder if it moves a whole bucket at a time, and that's why this is this way. If it moves a bucket at a time, there's no room to put more in here. Oh, it's filling. Look at how slow it's filling. Um, will it fill any faster if I make more connections? Okay. These. Um. Hmm. Well. Let me eat. We're we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. Um. What do I have in here? Let's try those and those. Anything to regen. Okay. We have 10,000. And let's go ahead and take care of stabbing herself a while. Don't know what the blood cookies do. That's sixty percent. Those juice and cookies rock. Ugh. 
Dang it. Click too many times. Well, yeah, right. Looks like I might need that temp mob farm after all, because this has regressed back to zero percent again. Okay. Well, that's poopy. Um, I have one other option before I would do that, and that would be to switch out all the plain blood runes I have here with self-sacrifice runes. And that would boost my self-sacrifice numbers. Because I'm already, I already have approximately, when this is, my hearts are all the way full, I've got two sets. If I could get these self-sacrifice runes all filling up, it boosts the amount of um, LP. don't want to mess with a mob farm until I have a tier 4 altar that I can set up. You know? I just don't. Alright, well, let's see here. All right, let's look at this other option. Self-sacrifice runes are made out of glowstone and reinforced slates. Reinforced slates we can do. Uh, we just need arcane stone block. I have eight, so I can actually do four more of the um, self-sacrifice. I just need the glowstone. Um, yeah. Uh, let me look up the numbers really quickly at how much the self-sacrifice rune um, boosts so that we can calculate this. And it'll give you 10%. Um, it is cumulative, so two runes gain 20% and so on. And one heart is 200 LP. Okay. We have just randomness in here. Some of it's Batania, so let's put that away. I am going to need to go to the nether and get some glowstone. Sorry, I was hearing some really weird sounds. I was trying to figure out where that was coming from. I think our neighbor's dying. <laughs> she was coughing up a storm yesterday, and now it sounds like she's wheezing and gagging. <laughs> Alright, let's just tuck all this stuff in, in a bag. Okay. The Trials of the Nether. I 
I hate the nether. So we want to know how much I hate the nether. I really hate the nether. But there's some glowstone right there. Let's see if we can get to that. Um, I can. I do not remember if getting glowstone causes the pigmen to get angry. Guess not. Otherwise, I would have heard some angry pigmen. But we do need to pick up all of it. And I don't have a bow or any ranged weapons, so we need to kind of avoid the ghasts for now. That gave me a almost a stack and a half, so we're, we're not going to go any further. That's it. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Alright. You shall not rain. Okay. It's a climatic. Did you really want something more scary? I didn't. Nope. Thank you. Alright, let's see here. Let's get that in there. And all right, you, 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 and then a you. So this will give us fifty percent. So it each. Um, poke will be 300 LP. Um, 300 times 20. Hmm. And so I guess that's a 16. We should totally do more. Um, what's Arcane Stone again? Of course, it won't show up there because it's a bomb craft recipe, and I have that in here. Um, don't I? I give you. I give up. This I wish had a search function. <sighs> search function, I tell you. It's stone and something. Stone and a shard. Okay. I don't have, I have shards over here. Of course, of course, why would I have enough 
V in this wand. It's an empty wand. We actually should, since this is empty, start filling our other one. Alright, let's go to our usual spots. Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to see the nodes without the goggles. Which, by the way, is the first piece of Terra Steel armor I'm going to make is the uh, helmet so that I can not have to switch my goggles back and forth constantly. Alright. And we're just going to drain this one down. And then go over here. I think I need Terra and Ignis to do the arcane blocks. Um, yeah, I think so. I will definitely be doing this between streams and working on having enough to at least capture one node. I would like to find one that has quite a few of the primals in it. Um, I may have already done so and I'll just need to look at my list. Yes, Loki, it is almost food time, you're right. <laughs> he just tapped my arm like, is it food time yet? I'm not gonna hold you, sweetie. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, we did our little circuit. So let's head back. Oh, I don't think I grabbed the one that has Tutamin and other things in it, so we'll grab that on the way back in. And then we should be able to grab some more arcane stone to turn it into reinforced, which of course needs more blood. Yeah. This is the one that Tutonomai moved for me. Domen Tutomenui. A guy on the server. Okay. I really would like a better food source. And Let's do this. Um, let's do this. Save even more. All right. Okay. We're wearing our crap armor again. Hang on. <laughs> and to be fair, we should probably at least have one of these set up so that I can pump all that LP back into the altar when I'm not using it. It's like it would have been really helpful to come back to this, have a full altar right now. <laughs> but no, I don't have a full altar because that would make it too easy on me. How many of these do I need to do? At least three, four, five, six, seven. 
do 12. I can't axe 13, 14, 15, 16. I could do 17 if I really wanted to. Not what I want to do because I'd have to stand here and camp this because I don't have this automated. This is something we could automate. Mm -hmm. Those are cheap. This is something we could automate. Um, we do have this problem. It doesn't even have enough speed to keep up with slate crafting. Uh -huh. I can't wait until we're out of this struggle. This this struggle of getting the LP we need and the essentia we need and the mana we need. <laughs> I don't even have RF yet. I just can't wait. Can't wait for that stuff to be resolved. <sighs> One. What are these useful for? We can make speed runes out of them. I don't know what these glyphs are. Should look up the spell table. Okay, well, I was gonna automate this, but since this can't even um, fill up very fast, there's no point to it at this point in the game. I'm gonna go grab. I know that's not gonna finish in time with uh, any certainty, but I need to grab some more stone. And I have the glowstone on me, so yay! Okay, we're gonna convert this to a tinker's table, and then we can put everything in it that we need. There. And we will switch these out one at a time. It'll make each rune crafting just that much faster. Alright. Once I have these two made, we'll go do something else because I don't want to spend forever doing this. Um, but I will, before we actually make the orb, I will probably change these four out and these five. And uh, that ought to be a pretty decent increase. I'm hoping to get it so that it's like 12k per entire um, heart cycle that I have. I should also look up the Tinker's Heart the Tinker's Heart canister for the next level. These. Because I have a couple yellow hearts. These. Oh, we are nowhere near those yet. These we can craft. <laughs> this is nowhere near that. Nope. <laughs> Ha 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 That is my uh, uncomfortable laugh. <laughs> Not happening. Okay. Alright.
So how's everybody's Wednesday going? What is your favorite magic mod? I'd like to know that too. IC2 isn't magic, damn. <laughs> but it's nice to know that that is your favorite mod. I enjoyed learning it for Age of Engineering. I can see why people like it. Um, it is not exactly something I would choose to use if I had other options. But like I said, I can see why people um, like it. Okay. So we now have three, four, okay, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a 70% increase each heart. Yay. That's good. Let's go grab some more potatoes. The one that I, ones that I cooked up should be done. One more of these runes. We'll have ha crafted and then we'll look at other things. You like Batania, Alchemist Azur? It is simple for the most part. Um, sure. I mean, yeah, it's it's got some simplicity to it. But, um... I don't know if you recall last time we had looked at getting into IC2 and not IC2, AE2 to see what would be required for us to finally get some auto crafting going and some uh, modular storage. And um, yeah, it's going to be a long while before we can get to that. So I decided we are going to progress towards the Corporea network. Corporea, I keep saying that wrong. Corporea network. Um, and to do that, we need to open the portal of Alfheim. So there's our little hiccup there, because we need uh, a lot of ender pearls, and I haven't farmed those either. So again, we have a lot of a lot of farming to do before I can really progress further. Um, it may be why I've kind of been putzing around here between streams instead of actually making progress in that I know that what I need to do now is really, to me, is grindy. Making farms, grindy. Okay, so there we go. We have seven, eight. We have eight, which I think I might just switch these out. And that should recover back to a tier 3 if it didn't even change. So we have 80% increase in the amount of LP we get per heart. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So we'll do that. And unfortunately that one... Ooh drums. Hmm. We do have, we could do some alchemy, but again, I think I need to just get some farms going, figure out that before I go trying to dig into these quests any further, because we're, we're running into walls. Really. <laughs> running into walls. But yeah, okay, let me show you. The, thing, the recipe you always need to look at for AE2 to see how long it'll take you to be able to get into the pack is the into the mod is the inscriber. It's right here. And thaumium, no problem. We can get thaumium. We can make the flux crystals. This is the same recipe um, where you just drop them in. Uh, da, 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 with the, You drop them in and get the, what you call it, here, this. <laughs> it's this right here. This bound diamond. I've never made a bound diamond because I've never played with bound with blood arsenal. So there's blood magic for you. 
it is a binding ritual, which is a blood magic ritual, like you do for making the sword and stuff like that, which requires a blood-infused diamond that has been activated, which is a tier 4 altar with 80,000 LP to activate it. An unactivated one is this mess of a recipe. This mess of recipe is a blood diamond with a bunch of blood-infused iron, which again is the blood altar. We need the master blood orb, which is the one we're trying to make right now, and these scary catalysts, which are all these other reagents and agents from the alchemy with a slate. Uh, that is to get into AE2. That is our door. not getting there anytime soon which is why i looked at the corporea network because corporea which is batania's easier simplified ae type thing requires corporea sparks which are regular sparks ender air and pixie dust we need to go to the end which the dragon's already dead and get pixie dust from the alphine portal Picks parks with the same recipe. Corporeal index, same recipe, unaltered recipe. And the funnels are the same recipe as they are. Um, the interceptors are the same recipe. I don't know what a retainer is. I'd have to look that up. But those are the sparks that, those are the, the machines parts that we need to make a corporeal network with Batania. So we'll at least be able to do some simplified um fetching from our storage drawers without running around to every single drawer and um some simple crafting and and that sort of thing so we'll see how we get there that that's the work ahead of us um we're gonna put glowstone in this one okay and we have the blood runes we should really keep those over here Tool bag is full of just stuff. Really need to go through it. So, um, farms. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do is find a blaze spawner and grab it. We need blaze rods, and I'm getting blaze powder from the passive drops. Um, Tutanomai gave me three portal spawners. Um, I know that the this recipe, I can't currently make this recipe, and Darium, Invar, Nether Star, realize it. But he gifted these to me. They're one-use spawner movers. Um, so it's very tempting to go grab a blaze spawner with that. Um, the other concern I have with doing so is that I would like to have it in the same spot as the blood altar, you know, so that I just collect all my mobs in one spot. So... That's kind of where I'm stuck on that. But I need blaze rods. I'd like to do ender chests. Ender chests. These. And I need... I need blaze rods. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get a farm figured out. Um, I'm gonna have to say we need to do hmm we have a tiny pumpkin farm running <laughs> 
Um, I need to be able to produce 32 pumpkins in relatively quick order. Because like I said, you get one messes per pumpkin. And I currently need 32 messes each time I make a magical crop seed. So perhaps our first thing is to set up, see I just got 12. Set up a more economical um, pumpkin farm somewhere, probably in the plains. Not something permanent that I can um, just run out there, grab 32 pumpkins and then come back. Um, that seems to make the most sense to me. Um, let's see. Let's pop all these. Oops. That was not intended. Let's grab all of these. We'll use these seeds elsewhere. Again. Sometimes you get more than one from the stalk. That I did not know. We'll get rid of this glass. Oh, I forgot it gives you blindness debuffs. Uh huh. Because you cut yourself. I cut myself. Mm, okay. Let's go up here. The other side of my tree wall that I've got going on. And over here, I think. Is there a nice flat area? Yep. Okay. And we're just gonna bust it out right here. Uh, let me grab water. Again, this is a temporary solution until we have a permanent one. But back here behind the cows, we shall have a water bucket here. And And I'm going to try to put something to prevent pumpkins from growing the opposite direction. That's why I'm putting them up against this dirt here. So they can only grow one direction. So that ought to help me, I think. I think it might help. Alright, I didn't count, so how many is here? Anyone count? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Half, half of what we need. Okay, so if we also do... Do a row on this side. It'll get there. It'll get there. Um, because here's the block, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Hey, I can go one more this way. But we're gonna Shave this back. And 
do here. Plant these. Get them all. Yep. Let's recount two. All right, that's thirty two pumpkin stems. Yay. 32 pumpkin stems. So I, once they're all fully grown, I should just be able to run along here and grab 32 pumpkins. So there's the Mrs. Field. And now we need to do the same thing um, with Netherwort. And I have a pretty decent field over here, so I may not have to alter it. I might need to make it bigger. Um... How big? How many will this net me once it's replanted? It needs to be at least 16 to make me happy. 32 happier. Oh, we got 39. I'm not going to make this any bigger. So that's fine there. We can do our Prey Contatio and our Mesas pretty decently now. Um, we get one per for nether wart, so, okay, that is set for temporary use. Let me mark that off. All right, that feels comfortable for me. Mana. Hmm. I think before we automate mana, we need to move over here with the mana. Um, which means filling this in with sand. So, ooh. ooh. Let's get book out so we can turn off the visualization. We don't need you anymore. There we go. Um, yeah, so we need to fill this in. And there's a decent amount of it here to fill in so that we can... Um, build underneath of it. So that means sand collecting. Got lots of buckets of water and I didn't need that many buckets of water. Oh well. Let's fill these up with lava. that re-going and we probably gonna want to sleep and then head out to the desert and collect sand lots of sand um how expensive is a world interaction upgrade grade that is a default recipe so we'll be able to get a cobble work started soon i need to figure out where i want to put it but in order to turn the cobble into sand, we're going to need machines because otherwise we've got essence. We're growing these, but not in a large volume. Pulverizer.
That's kind of nice. You get a rare chance of diamonds and gold in a rock crusher. What is the rock crusher? Is that real craft? That's right, it's that multi block from real craft. I remember you. You're noisy and deadly. Okay, good to know. <laughs>